Hello everybody, my name is Dizzy and welcome to something a little bit different than uh, what I've done before. Uh, today I'm going to be firing up Euro Truck Sim on account of I've been playing a fair old amount of it in the last week, maybe two weeks or so. Uh, it's it sort of captured me and grabbed me uh, and it's really fun to play. So I'm bringing it in front of your screens. I don't think Euro Truck is going to be a regular uh, sort of event, but while I'm obsessed with it right now, <laughs> uh, I'm going to give it a go. Uh, to wit, let me just uh, do, 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 manage my tabs properly. I have come up with, you should be hearing the audio, there's no audio in the menus, so don't fret about that. Uh, to wit, I've conducted uh, uh, an excuse for a plot, uh, which will hopefully carry the stream and maybe end up going super duper long or super duper short. Who knows? Uh, I've set up a lorry. Uh, a lorry? I've set up a lobby. <laughs> uh, I've set up a lobby, uh, which you can see the name on the top of the screen. Uh, anybody who happens to be watching, uh, I'm going to pop in chat the session ID and the password. And then I'm going to do something I've never ever done before in Twitch, which is exciting. I'm going to pin a message. Uh... Okay, manually unpinned or end of stream. There we go. Wonderful. Amazing. So yeah, uh, anybody who happens to have your truck sim uh, can, can join in. Uh, uh, I will reiterate the rules if we do get anyone, uh, but... Uh, basically, stay off the CB radio and keep the in-game chat like nice and and, and safe and uncontroversial. Uh, 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 no, no spicy language or or what have you. Um, but uh, I trust you all your good beans. Uh, yeah. So what are we doing today? Well, the first thing we're doing today is I'm going to do a, a scary thing, which I've never ever done in this game. So I'm going to go into the gameplay settings. And I'm going to turn on fines for traffic offences. I've never done this before. Now, I'm, I'm quite a cautious driver most of the time anyway. I like to try and stick within the speed limits. I occasionally even remember that I have indicators. Uh, but I've never had traffic fines on. So if we end the stream today with no money left, it's because I'm nowhere near as good a driver as I think I am. And although I try and be cautious, I am under no illusions that I am anything other than a really, really bad driver of lorries. Uh, so that will be interesting and fun. Uh, the other thing I want to do is make sure that I have the truck speed limiter turned on. There we go. <laughs> that will help avoid any too terrible incidents, I suspect. Uh, now, what are we doing today? Well, uh, it is the first... Oh, my pin's stuck around. That's nice. Uh, it is the first of December. It is imminently going to be time for, for Christmas, super duper soon. Uh, and in particular, the first of December is the first day of uh, the Jingle Jam, which is a charity fundraising event I took part in last year. I will probably be taking part in again this year. Uh, but we have to make it happen. And to do this, I've set up a diplomatic mission for myself. I have to get from Bristol, which is helpfully indicated by this waypoint number one, because Bristol isn't on the map. And I have to get, well, ideally to the North Pole, right? To Santa, to bring Jingle Must Cheer uh, uh, all the way there. Uh, we can't go quite that far north. So instead, what I've done is I found this road going north. <clears throat> Heading towards Lapland, which is, as we know, uh, where Santa lives, up in the north of Finland, which actually isn't even on the map, but it's fine. Uh, and we are going to see if we can get, not one job, because uh, there won't be one job from, from here to there, but see if we can chain our way across uh, various countries, Scandinavia, Finland, uh, and go from point A to point B. That is our quest for today. Now, as you can see, I have not unlocked very much of the map. I did unlock every single city in the UK. Uh, and you can see I've done sort of odds and sods sort of journeys, uh, mostly from like ferry ports across uh, from the UK to various places. Uh, but we need to find a job that will actually take us through 
this little junction representing Bristol to, to start us off with. So what are we going to do? We're going to go to the job market. We're going to go to a quick job. Uh, oh, and actually I should say, one of the things I've got uh, switched on, or I say switched on, one of the things I've done is I've set down the preferred job length factor down to 60% here. Uh, what that does is, uh, when you have a higher job length factor, it's much harder to find like quick little routes from one city to the next. Uh, and that will be very important around the end of our journey when we're trying to get up to specifically uh, Kuvala over here. But for now, we're looking to start probably in somewhere like Cardiff or Swansea. Find a route that ideally will take us to... Denmark, let's say, but if not, we'll take us somewhere like Grimesby, or Grimsby, I can never remember how it's pronounced. Uh, doesn't look like Swansea has anything. Let's try Cardiff. What have you got for us? Hmm, lots of places in Spain. I recently acquired... Sheffield isn't a terrible option. I recently acquired the Iberia DLC, so all the Spain and Portugal jobs are super duper new to me. Uh, what about Plymouth? Plymouth going north would be an excellent choice. No. Where's that? That's to Grimsby. Alright, let's go to Grimsby from Plymouth. I'm sure we'll be able to find a job from Grimsby to Denmark. Uh, let's take that job. And I may have to go straight into the uh, the world map. And... Uh, turn off those waypoints because otherwise it might try and take me to Denmark via Finland, which is not not what we want, <laughs> not what we want at all. Uh, but yeah, this is Eurojack Simulator. I am I am a very bad driver, just so that everyone is aware. I'm a terrible driver. Uh, this is going to be probably ugly at parts as I as I hit things. Mostly, I don't have a, so much of a problem when I'm going fast. I have a problem when I'm going slow. Okay, let's double check. Yes, our route is taking us. I'm going to actually put on the waypoint just to make sure we hit it, although there's not really a way we could get it wrong unless we went all the way around to Southampton. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a bad driver, so this is gonna probably going to be quite a comfortable. Engine on, lights up. And then in particular, I'm very bad at driving any distance at all when I don't have the camera locked into specifically this default position. Keep right. <laughs> so expect, oh, I need to turn right, that means I need to be in this lane. I should have indicated that when I was panicking. <laughs> oh, the other thing is I've never tried playing Euro Truck Simulator while, while on voice, while talking. Uh, which on the one hand is good, because previously when I've tried to talk to people I've obviously had to like stop the lorry and use the in-game chat or tab out and... Are you gonna... What are you doing? Okay. That was almost certainly my fault. Uh, I definitely shouldn't have done that, but it's fine. We're getting there. Sometimes I will need to ram every mini you see on the road. Yeah, see, look, I, I glanced over at chat and immediately I was off the road there. Uh, what I have discovered that is very handy is this little cruise control button that will set me going at, in this case, just under the speed limit, but that's fine. roadworks. I don't know, like I, I can't see anywhere where people could be working on the roads, but I assume they must be somewhere. Oh look, there we go, there's pipes and stuff being made, I guess. Oh, drifting. <laughs> uh, my eyes come off the road for even a second and I am drifting. It is not good. Ah, uh, but yeah, that little cruise control button is obviously going to be our best friend. Because uh, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard. I am playing with purely digital controls only. <laughs> Which means I don't I don't otherwise have any way of staying at a constant speed. It's cruise control or nothing. Uh, 
So anytime I'm accelerating or slowing down, we are, it is, it is full accelerate or full brake. <laughs> uh. Sometimes you have things like this where they've put this sort of halfway across the road. And I feel like I have to take up two lanes to avoid hitting these barriers. I don't think anyone could come past me now if they wanted to. It's fine. But we are reaching the end here of this. Can I turn the cruise control off? I don't think I can turn the cruise control off. That's fine. We've reached the end of the, uh, the slow section. Now we can get up to max speed. I have turned off collisions for service areas, which I thought meant places at the start and end of the route, but might actually mean places like that on the left, like service stations. In which case, I might want to turn it back on in our, in our convoy settings at some point. Uh, but we can do that after we finish this job. Uh, not least because nobody is currently here anyway. Oh, someone on the left. Oh, it's nice being back on the left-hand side of the road. Having done the sort of my first part of the game, doing all the, the different cities in the UK, I then made the transition to continental Europe, obviously driving on the right-hand side of the road, and immediately felt completely out of my depth, which I imagine happens to real-life drivers as well. Uh, but uh, I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. Uh, the other thing is with your truck that we need to be paying attention to down in the bottom left of your screen. Actually, hang on a sec. We need to stop. We absolutely should not do this ever. Don't ever do this, chat. I need to stop. I need to stop for a very good reason because I need to move little Dizzy out of the way. Uh, where is she? So that you guys can see. Pop her up there. So that you guys can see my route. My little uh, PDA type thing. Right now, this is a nice problem. Go back in the cave and tell people I would like to pull out. Uh, uh, please let me in, sir. You're gonna let me in whether you want me to, whether you want to or not. Don't drive like this. Incidentally, Jack. <laughs> in case that needs say. Uh, ceiling busy hiding in the sun shield. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, I think we can pull around this guy. Uh, got the speed because he's going unusually slowly. Hiding in the sun shield. Uh, 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 or maybe he's going to speed up at the same time as we speed up and we won't be able to overtake him at all. That is the thing that happens. With disturbing regularity, not disturbing. With annoying regularity. Okay, it looks like we might be able to slowly pull past it. If I hit M, I'll bring up on the top of the screen. And then you know it. That little map. God, oh god, if I don't lose focus and crash. Go straight on. That's right. <laughs> uh, if I don't lose focus and crash, we'll tell us roughly where we are in the country. Oh, we have a trans rights in the chat. Welcome, trans rights. Born on a mountain, live in a cave, trucking and trucking is all that I crave. <laughs> well, I have good news for you is that trucking is definitely something we can provide here. Uh, if you like, there should be a little pinned message telling you a session ID and password if you wish to join in on multiplayer. It is not impossible. Uh, can I pull into this left hand lane here? I think that's the turn off lane. We might have passed the turning off point, so I'm gonna pull it. Is that what you're supposed to do on the road? Who knows? Not me. I have never once looked at or read the highway code. I have never taken any kind of driving test. I don't currently even have an active provisional license because I let it expire like a <laughs> but if it feels right, it probably is right. That's my motto when driving. <laughs> uh, 
boss fights is still at work, you think your boss would look unfavorably on your plate. That is very fair. If I had a boss, they would probably also look about the favorite way you know, like the game games or what. Instead, I have you guys. You are my boss. Legally, I am required to do everything you say. Oh, that's a slow one, sorry. That's not true. That's not true. Um, we're in a 50 zone. Why are we in a 50 zone? Who knows? But we are. Let's set a... Cruise control at 50 and 48 apparently. Is this cruise control even on? Nope, we're back up to 60. Who knows? Who knows why why we had to be slow for that section? That's just to make the boss go back to play. <laughs> ah. Uh, um yes, so trans rights, we are on a quest. Slowing down again, okay. We are going past everyone else anyway, so uh, we, we, we've done a successful drive. Uh, yeah, we're on a quest to go from Bristol, which is where the little number one point is, and eventually we want to get all the way up to Finland uh, and get not to Lapland, because we can't reach Lapland where Santa lives. But to get as close to Lapland as the game will allow with the present DLC. Uh, on a mission of jingleness cheer and, and other such things. And if you get to hear me panicking and swerving across the country while that happens, then so much, so much the better. Oh dear. Actually reaching nearly 60 miles per hour. The the truck is is limited to 56 uh, under its own power. But obviously on the oh god we bit out right there uh, on the downslope we can reach 60 even 61 sometimes on a, on a long downslope. I went over a big old bridge. I think it was the bridge between one bit of Denmark and like the other bit of Denmark over that strait that Denmark controls that's like of massive naval historical significance. Uh, up, coming up ahead I've got a lane change on my sat I can't- oh god that has gone off. I can't tell what lane it wants me to be in. I think it wants me to be on the right. Because I'm not turning off Uh, but yeah, so the, the bridge on that straight, it's like a big up section, but then it's a big down section. It's the longest down slope I've ever encountered in the game, and that got me up to 60, 61. Uh, Transfight says, I kind of wanted to visit Rovaniemi last time I was in Finland. I don't know what it is in Finland. It's so far from civilization. I don't know what you mean. I'll Are we allowed to do that? Who knows, but we're gonna try. Are we capable of doing that? Go straight on. Who knows, but we're gonna try. I think this this car in front of us is just about setting its speed by the coach, which is probably speed limited to the same thing as us. Uh, so let's pull back in so other people can overtake us. I'm probably changing lanes way too much. It's probably like very elite. How close are we? Oh, we have literally, that was, that was Bristol. We've picked up the Jingle Must Cheer now. That's now in our, in our cargo bay. <laughs> Next stop, the port of Grimsby. Except I think the actual port is across the river in Hull. <laughs> the famous Bristol Airport. Look, I, I am as sad as anyone that they didn't include Bristol as an actual visitable city. 
but I can also understand because we are very close to in-game Cardiff. Although now that I think about it, I don't remember there being a seven bridge. Which, if so, is very, very amiss. Can I, if I zoom out, can we see? I can't remember what the route of the M40 is. I can't remember how I've got to Wales, whether, which, which bridge it involves going across. This is, you've never heard the seven bridge? No, I mean, the, I don't think the game has the seven bridge, is what I mean. Uh, whoops, let's pick a lane. Any lane. supposed to undertake on the motorway, right? So you're not supposed to be in up. that lane on the left and going faster than me so you can go past me. That's my understanding of how it works. But also, like, you have to be in that lane if you want to go to wherever that turnoff was for. I think it's for Cambridge or something. And like, if I'm not going to Cambridge and I'm going to, in this case, Cambridge, the speed sign but I didn't even notice. Uh, if, I, yeah, if, I, if I'm trying to go to Grimsby but I'm a lorry you know, the speed limit is 56 and you're not allowed to undertake me. That seems like a weird one. It says maybe it doesn't have it's a slip road lane. Maybe. I hope so. Side, you'll see we have uh, a few little gauges at the top. Go straight on. One of them uh, on the right hand side is obviously your emails, which you're not supposed to check while driving. Um, the next one is your fuel. We're about halfway through our fuel tank, which means we probably are going to need to stop and fill up at some point before Grimsby. But also, we didn't start off with a, fuel, a full fuel tank because they do that sometimes. Uh, and between those is a little bed icon. That's how tired we are. If that fills up, then A, I'll... I'll oh, oh, hello, what have we got here? What have we got here? 50. Okay. Uh, if that fills up, then I'll, A, I'll start getting, like, uh, fights for driving while tired. Uh, but also, I will start falling asleep at the wheel and lose control for those moments when I'm blacked out. Which isn't great news. <laughs> it says Birmingham, feel panic. <laughs> the Birmingham's not that bad, it's fine! I've been to Birmingham. I went to the Christmas market there. I, I remember very little about the city. Back up to 60. The only problem with Birmingham is that they think they're not in the north, but they actually are in the north. That's the only fault I have with this. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there, there's a sleepy icon, and you'll see on the mini-map there are bed icons, which is places you can pull in and then have a rest at like, the truck stop. 
So at some point, we may end up having to do that. We might. Uh, if I zoom out. Okay, we're over halfway. We'll probably be able to get away actually without having. Ah, well, you see, the secret is, Boo Boo, that the Midlands is in the north. <laughs> it's just what mostly northerners call the southern bit of the north. This is, this is my dizzy wisdom. Uh, why? I don't, I'm not turning off. Oh, I am turning off. So, there's a thing on the road there. I think there was somebody's... I think there was a bit of somebody's car, possibly. Now we get to the awkward sort of stage where I need to slow down. And the way I do this generally is by just letting off the accelerator so that I can take this turn. But I feel like you're not supposed to. You're supposed to go full tilt and then just brake like a man. I think. Also, possibly my cruise control might still have been active there. I'm not sure. It says hell of a identity. <laughs> but boom boom, as a Sunder, it is my sacred duty to tell everybody else their business. Right, for this we really do need to slow down here because A this is a big old hill. We'll go mega fast on the floor, yeah. And secondly. Exit right. There are cars coming because of the way the lanes interact. Anybody going up this lane on the right, obviously would have to cross over me coming in the left. Uh, okay, good. Right, step on it. <laughs> right, in case you can't tell me, I'm being, I'm being deliberately a little bit facetious. I'm fairly sure those lines in the middle of the road mean no overtaking, and if another car comes along the other way, we are going to die. But. It's fine because we didn't. Also, at some point the speed limit changed to 50 and I didn't even see it. This game does that a lot. Like, you, you, the, the changes in speed limits sneak up on you. Oh, okay, we've got a bit of a bend here. That's why the speed limit is 50. I could probably take this at 50. Tighter bends you absolutely cannot take at the speed limit. Um, it says you hate to be the other car as much more likely to die. While that's true, they have a lot more crumple zone. Like, the crumple zone is underneath me. <laughs> I, I am the crumple zone in an HGV. <laughs> Whereas they have a nice bonnet, which may not save their life, but will try. On. Yeah. Break into this turn because it's a bit of a sharper one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for adding that as a quick move, move. Just, just in case I ever become too, too reassured against the outset of my own mortality. <laughs> I feel like there's lots of scenarios with saying I am the crumple zone split. Okay, does that mean we're up to 60 now? No, apparently not. Cruise control set to 50. Is the cruise control on? Does it no? I have yet to kind of figure out. There needs to be an icon on the left for when your cruise control is on, and there isn't one, which is very annoying. Why? Why are you not turning on cruise control? <sighs> Sick. Um. What to come to see by the way? Okay, there's a there's a small icon on my dash that is like. There, I don't know if you can see. It's kind of middle of the screen right now. That currently says 50. Oh, that's that's my present cruise control. Oh, I got a turn. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's slow down for the turn. Apologies to anyone who's behind me. I was busy not looking at the road and not turn ready left. to turn. Look, to turn. Oh, the game lagging out. It's fine. We executed that perfectly. I guess the highbrow quote. <laughs> Look. There's nothing wrong with dropping a little bit of gratuitous Shakespeare into completely irrelevant messages. Like, says everyone else doing 70 is bloody scary. E everything about this game is scary if you think about it too hard. Yeah. I realised I stopped in case anyone was going across, but actually, I don't think people going across have right away. I think I have right away, so I didn't need to. And then, ugh, I'm gonna get this big old lumbering thing up a hill from what was nearly a standstill stop. And then we've got to get up the speed. Come on, come on, you big lump. Imagine me like slapping it, uh, genially on the dash. Like, come on, Pat. You're not that much further to go. Two hours? We're on a hill, though. <laughs> gonna be rough going. I think theoretically you can get a fine in this game for going too slow on a highway. Which is a bit awkward, because I've literally just come on the highway. Like... I, I've not let off the accelerator. This is just as fast as it goes. <laughs> Transfer says, you're all the north to me, probably. You'll let you live, Transfer. Actually, Britain is at quite a high latitude. Because it, it sort of it doesn't feel that way. Um, Transfer says, you're about as far north as Luton, just a couple hundred miles to the east. Ah, well, no, I think then you're certainly uh, further north than me. Luton's not the boom boom, too. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Transferites, you're actually the northernest. Speed camera. What I've often found is that speed camera signs are often a really good indicator. That, oops, I accidentally hit the differential on the button. That's never good. Uh, speed camera signs are usually a really good indicator speed limit is about to change. <laughs> there are much better indicators that the speed limit is about to change than the actual speed limit signs, which are small and difficult to see. Probably that was probably a bit much. Go straight up. That's right. Going 
actually not. The game is now telling me I want to pull into the left lane. If it then tells me later I need to pull back into the middle lane, game. I will remember this. You hear me? God, the lane just ends! Game! Why did you tell me to switch into that lane? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Because <laughs> it says the game just wants to keep you in the outer lane as far as possible. That's probably true, and it's probably like like the law or something, I guess. <laughs> Merging lanes isn't actually that much of a big deal as I seem to make it out to be. Just, I'm eternally worried about being stuck Keep in the wrong lane and, and unable to get into the off. right lane. Correctly, I should say. Okay, if there's you know, another off. car, right. or heaven forbid, a truck that I can't just sort of pull out. So far, though, we've done pretty well on the old driving rules and stuff, right? Because we haven't got any fights. That's a bend. Blimey. Oh, 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 it's slowing down even more. 30. 30 is... In real life, 30 is a perfectly fine speed. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Am I in the right lane for that? I don't know what lane I need to be in for the second exit. Probably the right lane. Exit now. Oh God, I took that roundabout really slowly because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I need to be on this lane. Turn right here. Two. Oh, that We are finished. Oh. Alright. Uh, I'm very bad at reversing Lorry, so we're going to go for the, the easy delivery option. Transfer says most Netherlands have seen you can just be in the outside lane and get to every exit you want. The Netherlands have some where you can't, but they're well signed. What we're going to do is this horrible maneuver. Oh. Slow. Rounds. Line her up. And we're off. Uh, okay. Off because the lorry 
train was turned too far over. Might, oh, blimey, we might not make it. Because I am, now we have to reverse. Which is not my strong suit. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to skip this one. <laughs> the, the option is skip or go around and try again. I guess we could try again. Like, it's fine. Right, pull further over this time. We have it, we have it, we have it. Oh, 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 I've accidentally hit the camera button. Amazing! We did it! Alright, we've arrived in Grimsby. Step one of our long journey complete. Now, level 10 skilled worker. Okay, so from Grimsby, technically we can take a quick job anywhere, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna continue the train. So from Grimsby, we now need to find a job that's gonna take us across to Denmark. We have Esberg, Copenhagen is further on our way, or Plymouth is the wrong direction, or Clermont is the wrong direction. So I guess we're going to Copenhagen. And this is not actually gonna be that long of a job, even though it's a long distance. We skip the ferry part, basically, so this shouldn't be too bad. I've actually been to Copenhagen before in this game. It's like one of the last few jobs I did. Uh, also, I did that without any fines and possibly without any damage, which is like the, the sort of the gold standard for a job. Let's do this. I gotta Obviously. Get I'm sorry. What, was the, what, what did my son have just say? She needed overtime. overtime. Or does she need to be home in time? Gonna be super good drivers. We're gonna stop. We're gonna look and make sure no one's coming. And then we're gonna pull out. Like a pro. And then we're gonna stop at this and indicate and everything. Whoa, why have you stopped? You've stopped right where I needed to go, sir. That was very inconvenient of you. Is it because I overshot? It might be because I overshot shot slightly. Ah, uh, so it's... <laughs> the law of planning to get the authorities to trust you before you bring a truckload of HRT through the ports. That does sound Turn good. Lit. That does sound good fun. Alright, no one there. So let's go. Oh my god, where did that car come from? I just saw a car go past my mirrors that didn't exist in the world otherwise. Get ready to turn right. Okay, we've got some lights. Do we think we're gonna make Turn right? Apparently we are. No? Oh for God's sake. I think we were supposed to go. I think I shouldn't have stopped. Uh oh. It's fine. That was definitely against the law, what we just did. That was 100% hands down. And it says, it's got to be a smuggling one, surely. I, I mean, there's customs checks at the border. So, like, it's maybe? Just what it said, turn me a and get caught. I, I, I've annoyed some drivers, but they're unlikely to actually report me to the police. Speed cameras, but there's a, a speed change, which means that I will never in a million years be up to 50 before this camera happens. So that's fine. Yeah, we're at 42. Oh, oh god, I bumped that, I bumped that. I accidentally turned my engine off. 
Hang on, I actually, while we're stopped, I really need to change that engine off key. Because I've done several times I've done that. Right, change that to G. I don't need the garage manager because then I need garages to manage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I had it bound to F previously, which is not a good not a good key when you're having to continuously tap and fight keys like F. Right, this sign means we're now motorbike. Which which isn't the speed limit sign, but also tells us that the speed limit changes. <laughs> Go straight up. for God. <laughs> I mean, it is also the engine on key, it's just that the engine comes on when you push forward, so you never need the key just to turn the engine on. Uh, anyway, this is the last we're going to see of driving on the left-hand side of the road, because I'm fairly sure all of the other countries are going to drive on the right. And then, you know, so, uh, continue straight out. enjoy that, I guess. Slow it down, rest Go straight the turn. This right. is one of the turnoffs that's like really steep, sharp corkscrew. I do not like these turns. They are very unpleasant things to try and deal with. Even when the game doesn't lag out on them. And you see, yeah, I'm going around this at like 30. The speed limit is 60. I am not. If I did 60, I would be straight into those barriers. Without question. Now! It's been up to 60. The game's been a little janky, it's fine. You want me to change lane. Am I going to change lane before or after this guy? Do you think I'm faster than him or slower than him or the same speed as him? Tight bend to be between a barrier and another lorry. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I wish I had pulled in behind him. Oh god. Right, he is faster than us because I'm on the inside bend and he's still ahead of me. So I'm gonna slow down just a touch. Pull in behind him. Whoa! Oh, we're gonna all slow down apparently. Because the, the cruise control has a bit of a tolerance. I assume that's how real cruise controls work as well. Has a bit of a tolerance, so you can go up and down by sort of one or two. So uh, if I if I set my cruise control to forty nine, then I won't be got by a speed camera for being over fifty. Now that we're past the cameras, I can set over fifty. Not that it matters much. We sound hot. We do. Not if it gets you fine. Well, I mean, if it gets you fined in the... If it gets... Okay. Gosh, Dizzy, shut up. I think those yellow overhead cameras are speed cameras. Whoopsies. Go a bit faster than the limit before the cameras get you. That's encouraging. Oh, we're back up to 60 minutes. I didn't even see the sign. I was deliberately looking out for the sign. I didn't see a sign. I would be a terrible driver. I need to be in the right hand lane. So let's pull over around here, slow down because this lorry is suddenly slowed down. So, go why are you going so That's slow? Right. I guess he was struggling with the turn, actually. That's fair. Uh... Then, I need to be in the left hand lane. Right so, now there's a lot coming up. Whoa, Nelson! Keep left. 
that that was that was not how that was supposed to go. Need to slow down quite a lot here. Turn left. Let's turn safely. I don't know if I need to indicate that one did, but not well. Uh, I don't know if I was supposed to pull out there, but I did. I apologise to that car. You almost certainly had right of way. Uh, That, I would say that's like a, it's a terrible design for an intersection. Right? Uh, what the hell am I going? Oh, just follow this road straight to the port. Fifth limit. get there. There's nothing we can do about that. I will also say, while, while the the signs that that don't exist are a problem, they're not the worst problem with signage in this game, because Italy, I'm assuming, has a law that HGVs can't go above 50. That's just like a blanket law. But what it means is, you see the signs change speed from like 90 kph to 110 kph, or whatever, and your speed limit doesn't change, uh, because I guess I'm driving this HGV that is just set to 50. So you think, oh, I need to slow down because I'm coming up to a, a sign that changes down the speed limit, but you don't. Uh, do you want to be at 50 still? I can't really see the road at all when I'm trying to find the cruise control button. Maybe I should put cruise control on the mouse. Look at that camera! It's such an evil camera! Like, directly after the change to 30. But you're still breaking like a mad Trust me, since damage changes are really bad, they don't think a lot of space to be in a reasonably cheap to build. That makes sense, I suppose. I was definitely not there. So I apologise to this car behind me. Exit now! Now, look, it's your sat that voice account. Uh, I think she's a granny, technically. I'll have to look it up in the options, but there's like three. I need to unbind that differential lock button as well, actually, don't I? There's three female English voices there's Sky US, Sky UK, oh, and I think this left. is Sky Old Granny. I think that's what it calls her as well. Sky brackets old granny. Turn left. I would love to. Well, I should indicate. That's. I, I've forgotten to indicate at every turn for the last few miles. Uh, am I turning right here? I am. Why am I either getting to the top of the Rerouting. Up. She sounds like 25 max. I'm going to Esberg. There we go. It costs 1.3 grand, but Pretty I don't confusing. pay that, so that's fine. And yeah, the satnav has a panic whenever you travel by ferry, even though the satnav's route tells you to travel by ferry. I don't quite know why that is. Uh, let's have a quick open up the options menu. There we go. Yeah. Language and voice, English. Sky, brackets, old granny. <laughs> You're right, she does sound a lot more like a cowgirl. But I, I like that she's not as clinical as the the other voices. So I, I'm happy. Oh, oh. Right. Now I have to go, go straight on and then turn right. Through here. And then like around here. Turn left. 
turn right. Blue. I'm on the wrong side of the turn road, right. I just remembered. Right. I'm coming, I can't see because my mirrors are in the way. Indicated there. I'm indicating now just, just to make myself feel better about it. It's fine. thing I know this is that for some European countries, and this might be Italy again, they don't have that red and yellow segment on their lights timer, they just go straight from red to green, which I don't like. I don't like. I want to be ready. I want to be ready to go. I think it's technically illegal for me to actually push the accelerator still at that point. I seem to remember that being a thing. Yeah, my half remembered British food laws. Um, but Go straight on. Get That's right. We are going to be wonderful. Just about. Whoever's behind us didn't. Need to be. At the roundabout, take the first exit. We're coming. We're coming. Exit now. Whoop. I often do that. Get sort of. Lumped up. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Coming on, coming on, coming. Okay, let's try to avoid it. Exit now! Thing. Made it this time. Amazing. Wonderful. Because there is still a, a roundabout here. We're nearly at the speed limit. At now. the roundabout, take the first exit. I'm coming. Exit now. Uh, the, because I'm using the, the like the digital controls, I spend an awful lot of time just with my engine switched off. Because it's that or accelerate most of the time. And there's no, like, slow accelerate option. Ah, yeah, looks like Denmark has the same thing. It just went from a 90 zone to 110 zone. My speed limit will change. So drifting a bit across the lanes there as well, because of the badman. Ah, but we can trundle along at 50 miles per hour. Very lovely. Very nice. Occasionally, decide which way we're turning off. Well, eventually need to be in that middle lane there, I think, to turn off here. Oh, the engine is is it's quite quiet when when I'm just chuckling like this. Odense and Alborg. They're not going to either of those places. I'm going to Odense. I do need to be in this lane. need to be in this lane because it's I'm sure there is a way to know oh I should have pulled in behind this person not when the speed limit was, was going down I'm sure there is a way to know in advance what the junction is going to look like and whether you need to change lane or not but I haven't found it Here. One. 
some point, magically, we will be on the main road. So we can go up, there we go. And we're just expecting to kind of know when that happens. And I'm going to be in this lane. To do. It's a succumber of the map and knowing how to drive. <laughs> Thanks for him. Oh god, I'm over the limit. I'm over the limit. Keep left. And then, you know it, continue straight on. Go straight on. That's right. Yeah, knowing how to drive definitely isn't my strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even know the rules of the road in the country I live in, let alone the rules of the road in this other country that I don't live in and have never been to in real life. Well, I would love to go to... I'd love to go to any Scandinavian. Actually, I'd love to go to pretty much any European country, to be honest. Oh, there's a photo point here. We could stop and have a look round if we wanted to. That seems incredibly dangerous to just have as a thing on a motorway. Where is it? Let's have a look and see if I can see it. On the left, somewhere. I didn't see it at all, did you? Oh, well, I'm not looking at that. I'm swerving slightly. Oh, we have a rewind in the chat. Welcome, rewind. We are on a trip. We are bringing Jingle Must Cheer. I'm going to have to change my place. We are bringing Jingle Must Cheer. Sorry to that white car. Uh, from. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Whoops, we we're a bit fast there. Now we've overcorrected and slowed down too much. It's fine. Uh, yeah, we're on, a, we're on a diplomatic mission. We went to Bristol, and now we're headed to the northernmost point in Finland that the game will let us go to, because it won't actually let us go all the way to Lapland. Uh, but I hope you have a wonderful day. If you happen to be a Euro Truck connoisseur, do feel free to join in the lobby, which should be in a pinned message at the top of the chat, if I've done the job right. If I haven't, then it's not there. If it's not there, then I haven't. Uh, we are currently in Denmark, on our way to Copenhagen, which will take us through Odense. Odense is weird in this game. Almost every city in this game, you don't discover it if you're like on the main road when you go past or through it. But Odense, you do. I guess the main road just goes slap bang through the middle of Odense. There was a sign on the right there that looked like a camera, and I have no idea what it was telling me. Maybe it was telling me there are speed cameras. Maybe that, that pole with lots of cameras on it was what speed cameras look like in Denmark, who knows. <clears throat> also, my voice is not going to halt for this whole stream, so I'm going to sneakily try and take a drink while driving. Don't do this. This isn't what people mean when they say don't drink and drive, but you should also not do this. speaks to which says it's telling you to go as fast as possible while only paying attention to your camera. Got it. Fantastic. I hope I won't have it actually unmuted. If you can't hear me chat, let me know. <laughs> it says if you make a drive if you've got one of those drinking hats. <laughs> oh dear, not the beer hat. Oh dear. <clears throat> Go up a little. Uh, oh, that that requires me tabbing into OBS while driving. That oh god, what is this? Okay. It's fine. It's it's empty oh, army thing over the road. Apologies to everyone behind me who I just brake checked. It's a good job I started slowing down when I saw the police car in there. Oh, so they're going straight through them codes. Safe for me to change back. I think it's. I need to learn to indicate earlier. Uh, yeah, when we next have a stop, I guess I'll see if I can put myself up 
a little bit on the old OBS. <laughs> so the people on the on the Christmas mission, the brake check was necessary. Love. I, I'm glad they're on the side. The, the last time I was in. Oh, Christ, I'm over the limit. I'm over the limit. I'm over the limit. The last time I was in Denmark, I sort of said, you know, oh, the people are, are lovely here. They won't mind if I do what I was doing at the time, which was probably crashing into the mall and breaking the speed limits. Uh, but today we're trying to be good beats. I've turned on fines for traffic offences. And so far, in an hour and nine minutes, I haven't gotten any. Much wood furiously. <laughs> oh, rain started. Hello? Let's go my post, thank you. Oh. Yeah, I think this was the bridge that I ended up at like 60 miles per hour. You are all good things on this bus, I think. You are absolutely correct. All of you in the chat are one of the things. Look, another camera. That doesn't seem to be a thing in the real world. Oh, maybe it's saying that this is a landmark and somewhere else there's a thing to look at it from. I don't know if the cruise control actually does brakes. Like, uh, if I go, if I'm on a downhill stretch like this, I don't know if, if the cruise control can actually, like, slow me down back to my cruising speed. Uh, oh, we're in a slow down bit. These sections are 90, but I guess not here. From here, he's speeding up. I guess once we pass this side? Yes, okay. Alright, we, we, we touched over the limit just briefly there, but it was fine. Everything went well. Headlight usage? Are they on or are they not supposed to be? I got my first fine. I, I genuinely can't tell if my headlights are on or off. I, I have the option set on that my headlights are supposed to be on automatic. However, you can never tell. Transport says they're probably off if you got fine. Well, it, it, it's the daytime in quite bright weather. Am I supposed to have them on? It's half five. Uh, am I in the right way? No, I'm not. Oh, whack! Oh, whack! Oh, whack! Go straight on. That's right. Oh, I didn't need to change lane anyway, because it's a turny offy lane like that. Having a, a windscreen wiper for my mirror and slash wall for my side windows <laughs> makes it not easy. Uh, we went to so rainy, so I see you on the bottom. Well, in the UK, you don't have to have them on unless it's like dark while raining. And I would definitely not describe this as dark. Beer. No, none of my automatic sensors work. I've got automatic lights on, they don't work. I've got automatic wipers on, they don't work. Keep none, just none of those settings work in the game for some reason. Small green lamp icon on my dash if they're on. 
that one. But see, because I push L, I've got like three different settings. I've got this, which is off, this, which is also off, and this, which is on, I guess? So get ready to turn left. Turn left. Right, says the second off is your parking light. What's a parking light? I should have been that lane change, but I'm not. Okay, right, Keep so left. Am, and then am I left. supposed to currently have my headlights on or off? Because it is late. But it is also Turn not left. dark. Look. That's why it says just always have them on, it'll be fine. I thought you got an offence if you had them on when you weren't supposed to. In this game, at least. I could be wrong, but I thought that was the case. Right. Oh, I need to indicate. Trying to let me across? Thank you, kind souls. Says, nah, otherwise, all those would be missed. Can I miss one context for my loss? Uh, says, maybe if you have your brights on. I don't seem to have a separate option for brights. seen that. Well, hello. I was worried he was going to pull out in front of me there for a sec. That would have been bad. Okay, going left on the roundabout. Reach Go straight on. That's right. Uh, no, I'm not going straight on, Pat. I'm turning left. the roundabout, take the third exit. Once we're on the that we have right of way, so no one else is allowed to pull out in front of us. They still do sometimes, but they're not allowed to. Oh, oh, what was the wrong button? Turn wrong right. indicator. And I you have arrived to that your as well. Your oh, guidance is now that was a bump. It says mostly Scandinavian things. I see, okay. Alright. Let's pull in. Let's back up a wee bit. Up, go right up. Whoa, not that much, not that much. Don't want to scrape it. I do want to be hugging the wall. Inch forward. Oh, we made it. Oh, wonderful. There we go. Uh, I've just realised I didn't pay attention to my fuel or my sleep for that entire journey, so it's a good job it was a relatively short one. Uh, okay, so, the great quest continues. Alright, so we reached Copenhagen. We're aiming for Huvala. So where can we get to? We can get a little bit north. That's south. That's south. That's not technically south, but is no more north than we are. Oh, that is literally the one the the <laughs> That is literally the town next door. <laughs> well, I guess we're going this way then. It says you slept on the ferry, presumably. Oh, yes, you do do that. Yes, I think you do. Clever boom boom. Alright, well, this is going to be a lot potentially more simple than I anticipated. 
Uh. Oh. Oh no, I do have to figure out how to get out of here. Okay, here we go. Make sure you put your seatbelt on now. I don't think I have a button for seatbelt. Presumably, that means that I don't need. Right, which one is the way out? This one. This one is the way out. I always get lost inside these places that you have to pull out of. Pulling in, generally, is fine. It's pulling out that I really struggle with. Okay, no one's coming. Turn left. Oh, mic up a little. That's right. Hang on. I'm just going to stop here halfway across the road. Uh, ba 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 ba. No, I must admit, I've never had my mic up this loud because OBS tells me that I'm getting into like, the red peaky bit when I do this. Is this better? How we, how we, how we feeling? Or does it need to be up even more? Do do do, do do do. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Okay, that's a thumbs up. Seems good. Wonderful. Okay, doke. Maybe just because I'm sick. Something in my voice. Oh, I've just realised I can't see uh, with my mirror. That means that I'm not in the right position. Some of the trucks you can't see your left hand wing mirror from the default position. You have to go, there's a menu, F4, I have to stop because I'm not aware. There's a menu for it where you can adjust your seating position. But your seating position is, is how far forward you are physically in the cab. It's also where your FOV slider is, instead of it being in any of like the actual menus. Hi there, welcome! It is wonderful to see your face around. How's it going? I hope you're having a nice day. Oh, and thank you so much for the follow as well! Uh, as you can see, I'm doing some Euro Truck. Uh, I am in an open lobby. If you wish to join for whatever reason, I say that like you need a reason. You don't! Shh! Got my gun! Bloody Rosas! It's not dark! Why do I need my headlights on? To be in the other lane. There we go. Um, <coughs> headlights are my number one peep in this game. Do you say it's 8 p.m.? Yes, it is, and it's not dark! Keep right, and then turn right. <laughs> Also, it says Scandinavia. Oh, the headlights laws like Turn different right. in different parts of the world. That's probably true. I hadn't even thought of that. I did not need to be that close. I've just realised that mirror up there isn't a rear view mirror. It's a it's a, a front view mirror, which is kind of neat. <laughs> just found that out this second. Uh, what am I doing? Does anyone know? I say something. Yeah, uh, there should be a pin message with, with details to jump into the session if that's a thing you wish to do. Uh, otherwise, sit back and relax. I am taking some jingleness cheer. I picked it up uh, just outside Bristol, and we're taking it all the way to the northernest point of Finland, what I can reach. Is this the one to see in the rearview mirror? Well, yes, that's true. It is a little disconcerting now that I know it's there. Oh, no, I didn't want that. Oh, Turn I'm left. Just going over the speed limit, which went down at some point. Oh, Gordak! Oh, Gordak! Oh! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It was just a little scuff. We didn't take actual damage damage. <laughs> oh. You can tell it's late, so I'm... I'm, I'm Driving more scuffy, obviously. Oh, it's uh, you know what it is? It's because I've just changed cab sides and I haven't realised yet. My brain hasn't caught up with the fact that I now want to sit on the left. Right. Playing guess the speed limit. Because I'm in MPH. 
side that was oh well where did you come from oh i i was trying to tra change lane into this he was trying to change lane into this for the other lane is my very first speeding ticket, albeit only because I only just turned them off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Boom Boom, for adding that to the quote. The cruise control on this lorry is terrible. I keep pushing the button for it, bloody nothing happens, and then I go over it. And other such noises. Right, let's get back up to 50. That just whole place was a disaster. Also, my lights are doing nothing. I can't see anything illuminated on the road ahead of me at all. <laughs> What's the point in finding me all this money for my lights not being on? They don't even do anything. I want it set to bloody 50! Ah! Go straight on. That's right. Cruise control. Damn. It's nice because it means I don't have to obsessively check the bottom right hand side of the screen, which takes my eyes off the road, which is very bad. But uh, it's an absolute pain to get going. Everything was going smoothly up until this lane. Yeah. Obviously Sweden doesn't like me as much as I like Sweden. Go straight on. That's right. I'm going straight on. I'm just getting nervous about being in the right lane. Because I'm sort of wedged in. I can't easily change lane right now. That makes me nervous, game. Transfer says it's the Renaults I'm telling you. <laughs> you want to ignore traffic laws. I want to obey the traffic laws. I'm just not given the tools to do so. Look at these headlights. Or rather, don't look at these headlights because you can't bloody see them. The mirror's a nice touch, but the lights are useless. 
Uh, how are we doing on fuel and sleep? We're doing well on fuel and sleep. We are going to have to watch that on this journey. I've only once had a journey where I like had to panic about fuel and sleep. It was when I was going, it's when I went to Corsica for the first time. I was going from someplace in northern Italy and I, I nearly could have made it to Corsica, but not quite. And I ended up having to, to grab fuel and rest in like just before the port, even though the place I was delivering to was just on the other side of the port, because I was worried that actually I was like I was just running on fumes, and my little sleepy bar was uh, on full tiredness. And it was just a disaster. Come in here. Okay, that guy's finally pulled in. to 51 miles per hour and, and set my speed to dangerously right. slightly red. And then exit right. Okay, we're gonna slip down because we're pulling off here. Exit right. earlier, but I did not. Okay. Guess the speed limit on the slip road. This one seems to be a full speed limit slip road. I also, I genuinely don't know how real life drivers manage to remember what the speed limit is without having a little thing in the bottom right hand side constantly telling them what it is. Because I would never remember. Never mind the times that it just changes without telling you. I would never even remember from, from one side. It's 48, come on. Take up to 50. 49. Ugh. 50. Alright. I need to just have a manual button that off. says... That's right. that, that, that says, go to this speed. I think you can directly do that with the cruise control, with like advanced controls, but I don't know what the buttons are. I don't even think I have the buttons bound, actually, because they're unbound by default. Um, it says, there's little tricks like the distance between the streetlights, meaning the limit is such and such. Oh, chippy chippy. I mean, this is why I don't drive in real life, because I would complain, I would dislike every single one of the laws and regulations, and then I would break them by accident because I'm a forgetful of a so-and-so, and lose my license, and kill someone, and go to prison. <laughs> and I think any one of those things on their own is a good reason for me not to have a driving license, but all of them together, <laughs> it's a dead cert. Alright, now we're playing another game of Guess the Lane. Okay, I'm allowed to be in this lane this time. <laughs> yes, Boo Boo! That is the correct emote to be using right now. Oh dear. in the first place. Well, I know some absolute idiots who've managed to get a driving license. So I assume... Oh, also you can like just keep trying until you succeed. There's no penalty for, for failing, particularly. But I sort of assume... Ronensburg land, did that say? I don't really know where I am. I'm past Helsingborg, which I've never heard of. I'm coming up the mixture, which I've also never heard of, so that doesn't help. Um, real one says, of course, that's the old way. You've not seen the connector on the back of driver's seats to connect to the head with the speed limit. <laughs> oh, dear. This is why we have buses and trains, so that professionals who know what they're doing and are sensible people can drive the big dangerous vehicles and get everyone else to where they need to go. And also, I suppose, taxis, although taxis are not as well regulated uh, outside of London, and especially not mini cabs, Ubers, uh, 
Hans. I think the problem, at least that I have, is because because there are limits that are just quote the default for the current road category. I don't know what road category I'm on, ever. I swear to God, game. Go straight on. That's right. Slow me down to fifty miles an hour. to have a little rest when I'm not constantly having to like be on and off the, the W key. This is really nice. Oh, the sky is lovely. Oh, oh god, I look away and I start drifting immediately. Some people drive places to like sightsee and I'm like, how do you see any sights? The only thing I have seen the entire time I have been playing this game is I can't draw it on the screen because I don't like you can't see my cursor but like a, a there to there box is all I see while playing this game that is not the camera <clears throat> that's the only bit of the world I experience from the drug of this Cab. No, from the cab of this truck. Ah, uh, but no, the, the sunset or post sunset twilight here is actually very pretty. Because we're on straights, I, I'm not passing over speed as much as I should be. So I, I can actually really sense. Oh, there's also a fly on that water. Get off. Artistic skill of giving your whole field of vision the same priority. No, you, I, I am unusually unobservant. <laughs> um, Go straight on. That's right. Maybe they grew up in a rough neighborhood skill. Ah, yeah, I definitely, definitely don't have to grow up in a rough neighborhood skill. Like, there were one or two nights across all four years that I lived there that... Oh, we have a train garden connected! Welcome! How's it going? Uh, yeah, only one or two nights across the whole time I lived there that, that they were actually theoretically visible. And I think every Keep single right. one of those nights and there were clouds or other things. So we've got to slow down here, we've got to slow exit down right. here. I didn't bother telling Londoners that because Londoners can't see the night sky even at the best of times. We have one days ago that picture them in Kent. That's so cool. Okay. Get, get my finger ready. So now, I know what I'm doing now is I'm reaching my right hand across the keyboard to rest it on the C key because I can't find it just by touch reliably. So as soon as my speedo says 50, there we go, I can set it's police, please man, and I surrendered that whole thing pointless, it's fine. 
Uh, yeah, I was gonna say so that as soon as I hit 50, I can set my like, music. speed limit signs don't matter here. I've stopped paying attention to them. Eventually we will find the speed limit sign that does matter. And then I'm going to ignore that, drive through it, and get a massive speeding offence. Which, seeing as I got a massive speeding offence for doing 20 miles an hour, 2 metres after a 19 miles per hour sign, which I'm still salty about. <laughs> Schools in time, oh gosh. Hopefully not. I don't think we're likely to be on any roads that might not. At least not until we get to the port. I don't know what the port we're going to is called, right? Also, I find it really weird that we're on like nearly maximum sleepiness, but we've used up barely any fuel. that really strange. I guess we just started with a really full fuel tank today. Because I never ever pay attention to how much fuel we start with because I'm an idiot. Uh, but they must have been nice and started me off with a full fuel tank. Everyone says, in some states in Georgia, you can find... Go straight on. Hello. That's right. Planes. Can't see. Can't see. Can't see. Uh, it says, so says the judge you can find the school zone affected in the state because it's like the only major road in town. I see. Entering an area of slight. 
slightly heavier traffic. Maybe it's just this truck. There's lots of red lights ahead. It's never a good sign. So we have to slow down just so I don't hit this car in front who's also not traveling at quite 50. Manually adjust our speed, or maybe not, maybe everyone's speeding up. You never know. Don't turn off the air, but do turn off the next services. Let's take a look at that now. Because I don't think no, there's no way we're making it to the ferry. Free driving at this point. This is a very slight bend we have to tap the left door. Question mark? Speculating? Who knows things? Not me. You guys are ahead of me slowing down. I bet you are. Catch up to you. Ah, you swans. What are you doing that for? Oh, you're doing that probably because we're coming up to the junction of something. Sure what kind of is. I don't think it's a road that I can go on, but it's a junction. Uh, Transtrike says, I don't see if I had any idea which of the 24 different types of county you were talking about. That's fair, I don't really know which bit of Sweden I'm in. So I can't on. help you. Right. Yeah, look, there's a, there's a road there that, that other cars can go on, but doesn't exist in the game for me. I, I suppose I like it more that they do it that way than if they did what a lot of other games do, which is just have a weirdly closed road network that doesn't acknowledge the existence of any other places. I like this way more. At some point I'm going to have to pull off to the these services. Which first so I'm going to need to be able to see the turning off into the services. Yeah. Let's see what that speed limit sign says. That says 90. Well, of course it does. Right, where? Where's the sleepy bit? Over here somewhere? Uh, Trance Wright says, let's just say it's like a county, though. It doesn't really matter if it's a ceremonial county, or a metropolitan county, or a history county, or whatever the hell the church is doing. I see. Where? Do I just pull in here? That sort of looks like a space behind this tanker here. But maybe I want this one? On this side? Question mark? Do I know things? No? If I had a choice, I 
I'd rather... Okay, I think I'm technically sticking up a little bit. But it's fine. Alright, have a nap. Have a coffee. Engine backed up. We don't need to refuel. And let's get back. Oh, there's a train going just up ahead of me. In... Cernitalia? Possibly? Also, remember that my lights were supposed to be on, which is nice. Sure, that was enough to notice with my indicator there, definitely. <laughs> now in Stockholm's land. There's another interesting attraction coming up, which I guess is this big old bridge top of us. Which interestingly doesn't seem to be a road bridge. So I guess it's a rail bridge? It's got pretty glass sides. The track adventure. Oh, fudge me! The speed limit changed. The track adventure. Oh, the speed limit changed back. <laughs> <coughs> the trucking adventure is mostly going well. I've only gotten a couple of fights, and one of them was for not quite slowing down quickly enough past the stop, uh, a speed limit sign. And that's annoying. I just said the thing there. Number. And the other one was for the other several were for a Go straight out. To, That's right. on, was for a bunch of uh, headlight offences because I can never tell when my headlights are on or off, or when they need to be on or off. Uh, it says we're Santa. We are Santa. We're we're on a a festive diplomatic mission from Bristol, where we started, ish, uh, to as close to the North Pole as how the Japan was Japan Japan. The sign's there! I think we got past the sign yet! That's so not fair! <laughs> I couldn't even see the sign when I got the speeding offence! Get a bag, police! <laughs> I'm so upset by that. Um, Yes, uh, we're going as far north as we can in Finland. Exit right. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Haha, <laughs> we nearly missed that turning. We nearly missed that turning because I was being upset with the cops. You pat the this? Oh, thank you. Sometimes I need it, maybe. Alright. Is the speed limit going to go up again? Yes. Is it going to tell us that it's gone up? No. We just have to know that. No, it's gone back down! What was the point in having the speed limit be 50 miles per hour for all 20 meters than it was? <laughs> Maybe. Actual people who drive are looking at this thinking, Dizzy, you're a complete and utter idiot and a brat. And this is exactly how it works in life. Maybe. And maybe everyone has just been dealing with it for ages. Um, what's the speed limit here? 90 
kph, which is apparently 50 miles per hour. So we're speeding up to go through the tunnel. Normally you slow down to go through tunnels. Not this one, we're speeding up to go through this one. You've got our idiot. Thanks, Boom Boom, I think. Uh, turn off here. Guess the speed limit on the slip map again. Who knows what it's gonna be? We're leaving motorway regulations. Okay, it's 43. I have at least got moderately good at translating a few specific amounts of KPH into MPH. Okay, it's not one coming. Let's go straight through. Oh god, I pushed the wrong camera button. Oh, oh, we hit the thing. Ow. I don't even know why I hit that. Nope, oh, that's fine. That was me hitting the camera button. It's been this late, apparently. Trigali is ahead of us, probably thinking, God, why are they so slow? Why haven't they caught up yet? <laughs> well, you see, incompetence. when you hit the brake, even slightly. Uh, which is useful if you need to cancel cruise control in a hurry, but does also mean that if you're on a downhill, you have to reset your cruise control because you'll, you'll end up going over the speed limit. Which is probably what's going yeah, to happen here. Do, do, do. Should I have been going slow enough that I could break? Yes. Was I? No. Should he have stopped? Also no. Am I now going 
much slower than I need to because I'm nervous about the speed changing rather. Yes! Very much yes. <laughs> Whoops. I'm just going to set cruise control at 41 for now. Then we're going to go through another bloody speed change sign. And we found Capel Scare. Scare? Scar? Scare? Capel Scare. Oh, get ready to turn left. I am getting ready to turn left. I can't even see where the left turning is, though. Turn left. No one's gonna. So we have to turn. Find the camera button, find the wrong camera button. Go straight on. That's Let's right. Look. Yeah. Uh, does anyone have any idea where we are? <laughs> or, well, more importantly, where we go. Wait for this line of cars, which is good. Wouldn't want to be doing that. Okay, I guess right around here. Oh, that was a bit fine. Now onto the boat. Onto the boat. That's what it says. I think you're going from there to Maryham and then to Turkey. I should actually stop and check the map so I make sure to go to the right port. Seems I don't know where I am going. Right, where am I going? I'm going to Turku. That's not an option. Am I going to Nantali? I think I'm going to Nantali. Nantali, okay, right, I'm going to Nantali. Am I saying Nantali correctly? Almost certainly not. Ugh. Ooh. Game is, uh... Game is being, uh... Huh! Well, it might have crashed. It's certainly frozen. I'll find us a new route. Ah, okay, no, okay. It was just, it was just panicking about the loading screen. That's fine. Possibly, I guess, because I was traveling to someone where there was already a, a person. I, I don't often do that. Ugh. Oh, big stretch. All right. Where are we going? Down here. Avoid all the beams. Off the boat, and then turn left. Someone's coming this way! Ah! <laughs> it's fine, I knew I was gonna swing out across the road. Because I didn't come to a full halt. So I was like, oh, let's check if there's anyone in the road. caught Trengali up at the port, but not quite. Uh, Merging in here, I should imagine. Probably. Do I actually know? No. Oh, the 
there's lights here. Okay, sure, sure, fine. No, that's good. That's good. Straight on. That's right. Uh, oh, Jesus! Ow! That was me hard on the brakes, and not hard enough. We've just oh, allowed. This is not fun this time. This is, I think, possibly the worst intersection I have met yet in this game. Ah, uh, we have a Kelly Turnips. Welcome, Kelly Turnips. I don't think you're supposed to rear end other vehicles. Thanks. I will. I will keep that in mind. Oh dear. has been a little bit of a disaster on this last leg of the trip. Oh, the train got disconnected! Oh no, I'm so sorry! That was probably my PC having a panic that caused that. Oh, but yes, do feel free to rejoin. Um... <laughs> That's why it says not vehicles, no. Oh my god, brakes! Brakes! Do you have some? On this lorry, maybe, that you could use. I just realized I thought I was reversing. I was not reversing. I seriously want to know who created that road with three traffic in like 10 meter chunks after each other and then possibly push them against the wall and not in a fun way. Alright. Let's get up to speed. I was going to say we're on the open road now. We're not on the open road for long now. Turn off the road's ejection. Ah! Christmas cheer everyone! Are you feeling it? <laughs> I need to blame for this road layout. Is it right? Right. Uh, 50, that's quite slow. And that sign says motorway. So we're only at 50 for, again, about 20 meters. Love it. Wonderful. That's why it says, yes, but we found no one lives outside of Kehe the Third? I came left there! Kehe the Third is. I don't think I've ever. Maybe Kehe Three? I was, I'm definitely not pronouncing that right. Uh, I assume that's a bit of Finland? Take a stab, I seeing as apparently no one lives outside of it. It's a bit of Finland around the capital, specifically. Wait, did she say keep right? Do I want to be keeping right? Uh, thank. Thank you. That late merge. So it says the outermost of the three ring roads around Helsinki. I see. A hundred? I've never seen a sign for a hundred kilometers per hour before. Just went past another speaker on the side. I 
five zero, probably eight. No, we can't get a five zero. Maybe Simmons or Edsford. Many things in video gaming are, it's true. Slow down, so hill. Quickly. No, we're going too quickly anyway. Look. Go straight up. That's Look. Right. The mass on me, I'm correct. I like how the brakes in this are way, way too intense. Up until the point where you need to stop in a hurry to avoid your ending another lorry or a car that's just stopped in the middle of a roundabout. And then suddenly they're like, brakes? What are those? We don't have brakes here. We have sort of suggestions. Possibly constructed out of fine cheddar. Cruise control set. Oh, we got another lane back, briefly, it's nice. Uh, I'm not even sure what that's blushy about, early turnips, to be honest, but I also maybe have been paying attention because I've been trying and failing to drive a lorry. <laughs> well, I've done three jobs today, and I've rear ended two people. So overall, I think we're coming out f fine. <laughs> oh dear. What time is it? It's 10 minutes past 2. We're making pretty good time IRL. What time is it in game? 8.24. I don't know if that's good or bad time, but seeing as uh, time on ferry terminals, I think gets skipped. Like normally you, you, you spend the time on the ferry terminal just doing the ferry cutscene. But uh, I think you come out of the ferry at the same time you went on to the ferry when you're in multiplayer. Oh, cool deck. Don't go too fast, especially when there's Rosas around. They're very trigger happy with their speed guns. Um. Nope, okay, no cruise control for me. Speed limit change sign. What is 37? What number is 37? <laughs> but it's just got different speeds to everyone else. <laughs> At the roundabout, oh. take the first exit. Okay, we're gonna take this exit now. Bit of speed. Oh, get speed. ready to turn Up left. Left. Turn left. Why does someone always appear right as I commit to the turn? <laughs> oh dear. There's a road. It's a road I used to live on when I was wee. And uh, there's a... To get from that road to the high street, you go up a little close and you go through an alleyway at the end of the house, right? And as you're coming back from the high street, you go down the alleyway, you come out onto this little post, you see the road that I lived on up ahead of you. And when you see this road from the end of the alleyway, it is completely empty. There's never a car on it. And you walk down the close, it's not a long close, it is, it is not a one minute walk even down the close. And in that less than one minute that it has taken you to walk down this close, the road goes from completely empty to full up busy with, with HGV traffic that you're supposed to be on that road. To every single uh, car and, and domestic vehicle in a 12 mile radius, they're all on that road. It's a, I suppose it's sort of a sods law type thing. I feel like me trying to turn across, uh, sort of across a lane with this is like that. It obeys the same rules. There's never anything until you're actually ready. And then there's everything. This is pretty though. I like Finland. Uh oh no, there's people doing stupid things. Oh, okay, it was over the, the, the temporary limit there briefly. I nearly got a 
another speed of light. Another turn, you're turning turn right, right for Lati, Lati. Turn right. Uh, that's just coming. Full. What? What are yellow lines? I don't know what the yellow lines are. Go straight on. I was sort of hoping Finland might be snowier. I guess this is Finland in summer. That's why the sun sets so late. speed at the sign before the light, so you'd pass a township starts here sign. Oh, okay, I see. Can we go forward please, truck? Thank you! One of the things that I don't enormously like about the control scheme, I think I need to put this in the One of the things I enormously like about the control scheme is because S is both brake and reverse. When you when you hold Go down on. S, having That's been right. going forwards, you come to a full stop. Sometimes you want to go straight into a, a going backwards, and the game doesn't really sort of realise that. And likewise, when you if you if you are hammering S a lot to stop, and you press it one too many times after you stop, the game now thinks you're going backwards, even though you're not moving. It thinks you're going backwards, so it gives you your little reversing sound. Do we need to be on the other hand lane? Okay, come on, other car, other car go past, please. Thank you. So it, it thinks you're going backwards, and then because it thinks you're going backwards, when you then hit W to go forwards again, it thinks, ah, this is the break for going backwards. Which of course it isn't, it's you trying to go forwards, but you're then to the left there holding W for a while, 
thinking, why am I not, why am I not accelerating? I don't know that I can think of a good solution to that, necessarily. Uh, I don't want my differential one to be printed in as a Kia to a bite. Keep left, and that then turn left. Going here. Okay, apparently there is like a... Turn left. I assume I need to indicate for this maneuver, I don't know. We're going to though. Oh, there we go. Oops, don't get the sign. Okay, we can get the sign. Ahem. <coughs> Left it, Brett. Oh no, you need two lights. What's that mean? Tell him, ambulance. Oh, the Trangali is nearby. Trangali is a cop car. Shaka, hi there, how's it going? There's a little busy in the mirror. There is! She's sitting up there because uh, it keeps her out of the way of the, um, what's it called? That little thing down on the right. Well, my, my PDA, my sound. Because right. right. uh, sometimes that's down in the bottom left when I'm in a, a right-hand drive truck. Uh, I've discovered the recruitment agency, which is great. Because I can't see the map. I have no idea where I'm going or how fast I'm going there. <laughs> Is it good? Um, Shaq says it's going good. Fredo does not have a broken hip. That's excellent news. Do we know what is wrong with Shaq? Uh, with with Fredo even. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Turn right. Down and right. Oh, I, I overshot that. Get I? ready to turn left. Well, the Finnish police have interesting coloured cars as well. Turning left there. Turn right. Straight right into. Uh, this is where it ends, sugar. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Alright, let's play it safe. Uh, let's back up a little. Oh, there's a fire engine behind me now. So maybe not back up anymore. She says it's displaced. Both her hips are a bit lax. Probably due to not having these, having no support from her knees since they're broken. There's some information, she's going to get some painkillers and rest for a week. I have not lined up at all. I might make it anyway if I'm a bit lucky. Yes. 
Alright, we are so nearly at our destination. So Shaka, for uh, for you who's, who's just newly arrived, uh, A, if you want to join the game, because I believe you do own Euro Truck Sim, uh, there should hopefully be a, a session name and a password pinned to the top of chat. If that's not there, let me know. Uh, and I will fix that. Uh, oh, we leveled up. Let's grab a level in Fragile Cargo. So I saw there was a listing of what you need to get every job. Because for some reason, having higher ranks in high value cargo doesn't actually give you, like, it doesn't give you more high value cargoes, like higher value cargoes. It just means you get more reward for, for taking high value cargo, which I think is silly. But what do I know? Um, uh, Transfer says Fragile 1 and Just in Time 2. There we go. I'm going to hold off on Just in Time delivery because it stresses me out having a time limit. Uh, so I'm going to grab Fragile 1 for now. Uh, yes, we're on, a, we're on a mission. We've got a, got a world map here. So we began, uh, I think technically we began down in Plymouth, but we, we, we truly began just here where the M4 meets the M5. This so the junctions here. This is Bristol City, uh, where I did my undergrad, uh, and home to Jingleness. And we we picked up a load of Christmas cheer there, and we brought it up to to Grimsby, and then from Grimsby we took it across the North Sea into Copenhagen, and from Copenhagen we have now travelled our way past Stockholm across this bit of see that I think is the Baltic? I hope it's the Baltic, otherwise I'm going to be, look like an absolute numpty. Uh, to Nantali, and then across to almost the northernmost point of Finland. Uh, and we have, a, we have a destination. I've actually picked a specific road as a destination. We're going here. That is the, the road, as far as I can tell, that's in Finland that is going sort of the most north and up towards, so there we're going to set our Christmas cheer that we picked up off on its final journey up to Lapland, which sadly is in the game properly. Uh, and then in Lapland, obviously, we'll meet with Father Christmas, uh, and, and he will see this, this diplomatic petition for Jinglemas cheer, and hopefully he will grant us all a very memorable Merry Jinglemas, and a very successful Jingle Jam. For those of you who don't know what Jingle Jam is, it's a big charity event, uh, that happens about this time of year every year. Uh, I did some fundraising for it last year. The fundraising is not properly open just yet. Uh, it will open, I think, at 5 o'clock. I don't have a link for it myself yet. I might be getting one at some point. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'm sure all of you who are watching this probably know this already, because you'll watch other people who change the jam, and that's fine. <laughs> Uh, Transport says, in convoys, the time limit is very generous because resting in ferries don't advance time. That's true. The jobs still take those into account. Ah, clever. So basically, if I want to do just-in-time jobs, only do it in multiplayer mode. Gotcha. Uh, Shaq says, I'm missing most of Jingle Jam tonight because D&D. Oh, that is a shame. But also, the D&D &D is obviously a wonderful, enjoyable thing. Anyway, on our great quest that has taken us all this way north, we only have one stop left to make. We need to get from here in Lati to Kuvola. I don't know if that's going to be super duper possible, but if there isn't a direct job from one to the other, we might be able to sneak around past Kuvola on a job to somewhere like Kotka or Viborg. Or even St. Petersburg. Oh, so what have we got? That's the wrong way. To Turku. To Vyborg. I guess we're going to go to Vyborg then. To Russia. I've not been to Russia in this game. It's going to be exciting. And interesting in and of itself. Oh. Oh, I need to... I need to remember to unbind that key for the differential lock. Or maybe not unbind, unbind, but certainly change the binding. Keys, buttons. Uh, differential lock. What's something I'm not going to hit by accident? Like, oh, no, I don't want it to wheel down. Like J? Light horn. I didn't know I had a light horn. I've got a big horn and a light horn? Okay, I'll try K. 
okay as high beam headlights. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's try... M? Well, no, I definitely don't want to... Oh, I've just unbound, like, all of my keys. This is a disaster. Uh, what's something I'm not going to hit? Oh, that. There we go. Differential lock is now on that key. I now need to go and find all of those things I've just unbound. Uh, high beam headlights on K. Light horn on J. J. And world map. Should I have done this before I started my job yet? Did I? No. Uh, is HUD controls? Doesn't seem to be mapping there. There's a walk mode in this game, apparently. I have no idea how you access the walk mode. Uh, world map. M. There we go. Alright. Oh! Started right. Now you drive safe, okay? On. Headlights on. Are my headlights on? Probably. Uh, yeah, walk mode. Apparently, you can you can go for a walk in 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 Euro Truck Sim somehow. Uh, Shaq has also asked for a dining. Room. I'm wondering if I have any Christmas or uh, also need to stop. Adjust my seat. So this is the seat adjustment menu. This is where your field of view is for some reason. Uh, but it's also where I can move myself back just a little bit to get a slightly better view out of these. I might also do that because 70 tends to be slightly better for me. I don't know why the field of view and stuff is different from one cab to the next. Turn it's a pretty left. horrible decision, but uh, yeah. it's true. It's the case. I didn't make the decision and I can't change the decision, so I guess that's one reason for buying your own truck, you so you can set these things and then never have to set them again. Turn left. Uh, yeah, I was thinking if I have any Christmas or um, other themed dino factor, I'm afraid I don't think I do. Uh, I have South Pole. Might be appropriately Christmas. Um, so obviously the the South Pole, uh, or Antarctica, I should say, uh, was part of a supercontinent for most of of uh, the Mesozoic era. It was part of a supercontinent called Gondwana after it broke away from Pangaea. Go straight on. Uh, it right. was sort of attached to. Australia and South America and Africa right. at various points in history until they all sort of broke away from it. Oh, I don't know if I like these indicators. Um, but dinosaurs continued to live on Antarctica even as it sort of started to break away from these other continents, and even after it started to, to walk south. And although it's not settled, shall we say, uh, uh, science, uh, walking with dinosaurs are an excellent speculative docufiction type thing. A bit out of date now, not least in the, the feathers department, uh, which was kind of coming in to be accepted science even when they made it, but didn't make it into the, the actual show, unfortunately. But uh, walking with the whole episode on South Pole dinosaurs. Oh, I've got a little bit far down there. Uh, and among them is my favourite, my favouritest of the dinos, uh, Leela Nosauria. Yeah. Leela, I can't even say it. <laughs> I'm such a big fan. Leela Nosora Amicographica. Uh, uh, Leela Nosora meaning Leela's lizard, named after the researchers who discovered its daughter, which I think is really sweet. And um, walking with depicts them as living in the Keep South left. Pole during and obviously these long extended nights that you get down there, and that even during Cretaceous times, even though the, the Earth was turn warmer, left. you know. Uh, extended nights means cold, freezing temperatures, and 
Uh, it depicts them as a suggestion that some of these dinosaurs might have migrated away from the southernmost parts to warmer areas in Africa or South America or wherever they were attached to at the time. But also, walking with suggests they hibernated. They, they just slept through the cold part of the winter. Uh, which, it made for a really compelling bit of television, if nothing else. And certainly helped sort of cement them as, as one of my one of my faves. They're good little boys, they are. You're not turning? Uh, so yeah, there's your little dino fact. It took a while to get out. This transfer says I'm used by this tractor. I recognize a whole a lot of switches and other controls from your station wagon. Oh. Rem you're going to have to remind me, because I'm an idiot, what a station wagon with. actually is. I also realised that. Could I remember to set the waypoint on my map? Hang on. I did not. But it's okay, because we're going basically the same way anyway. Why? <laughs> Why? Hang on. Why does it want me to... It's fine. We'll work it out. Let's get going. We'll work it out when we get there. A uh, state car. Okay, that's what a station is. Get ready see. to turn left. Turn get left. Through these lights. Nope. Gonna change on us like a little swine. Station <clears throat> wagon. What a crazy! What a crazy name for a car. <laughs> Does it go to train stations? No. Is it a wagon? Also no. <laughs> well, we're gonna call it that anyway. It says long boy cars. Yes, long boy cars. Alright. Uh, I should probably be this lane. I've got my wipers on still. My wipers on faster now. Various signs telling me various things which I don't understand. But the important one is the speed limit sign, which I do understand. Oh, uh, it says it goes to train stations if you drive in there. True. Very good point. Excellent point, in fact. I don't know where on my dash which of the two numbers that say 43 is my cruise control. I'm assuming it's the one in the middle at the bottom, just above this sort of nice line thing. I wonder if it'll tell me what make of the driving. Whoops, drifting lanes. No idea. Oh, it tells me my time until my next rest stop. That's nice. Ah, uh, working faster now. Yeah, okay, the middle bottom one. Got to change lanes. What's it do? Middle bottom one is my, uh, sake. No, okay, I didn't need to slow down there. I really need to set my speedo to be in KPH when I'm in Europe. I really do. <laughs> uh, Trick Alley's gotta go! Have a nice stream, thank you so much, and thank you for, for be being around. It was wonderful to have you. I apologise for the disconnect earlier. Uh, yeah, it was lovely to see you. And thank you so much for following earlier as well. I hope I will see you, or at least you will see me in the uh, Fizzo stream that happens tonight. I was going to see what's going to happen tonight. I haven't checked. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Give me a big five oh, change up. Change down, maybe. One of the two. One that says 50, I can set my cruise control. Uh, the shack is why, why, why the magic number matters. Although I guess we're turning off fairly soon, maybe? Yeah, fairly soon. So we won't be hanging around at 50 for too much longer. Oh god, the speed limit's going jumping around like a mad thing. Apologies to everyone behind me. Again.
one's guess this late. Keep right, and then exit right. Keep right? Are you exit sure? Right. Oh, okay, I guess I literally can't go straight on, so I do have to sort of exit right, well, don't get I? Ready to turn left. Sorry for everyone behind me again. Uh, turn not left. Really understanding what was going on. To the left. All right, we're here. We're at the end get of our ready journey. To turn left. This is it, gang. This is. Turn left. Hang on. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull in here. This is it. This is the road north to Lapland. We made it. This this barrier, if we touch it, hang on. Bonk. There we go. We're as close to the North Pole and to Santa as we're ever gonna be. Although I feel like actually looking at it over here was probably further north. <laughs> but it's fine. I made my decision that this was uh, the end of our journey. Uh, I don't know what to say. I, I, I wanted to say a few more Christmas words. Like I said, I was sort of expecting... Ooh. Let's turn the engine off while we're here. I was expecting it to be a little more snowy, a little more Christmassy, but uh, we got some nice sunshine instead. Don't look directly at the sun, kids. Uh, this is cool. It says now we just have to hand off the Christmas cheer to the elves. We do. Do-do-do. I guess our Christmas cheer is currently sort of round and pipe-shaped. So I hope the elves like round pipe-shaped Christmas cheer. Oh, excuse me, are you going north? No. <laughs> you're, you're turning. Never mind. You're not going to do very well at turning either because I'm stuck in the way. Ah. Well, that was lovely. Let's finish off this delivery to Viborg. We've got 20 minutes left of stream time, so I accidentally picked a really good length of journey. For what length of stream we had. I should get away. We are just about managing. Finding a new round. Oh, gosh, you scared me there, lassie. I don't know if lassie is the appropriate term for someone who is a, a an old granny, apparently, but this is what I went with. an actual border checkpoint in this game, because I only ever travelled between Britain and the EU, and obviously back when this game was made, Britain hadn't left yet. <laughs> I'm sure it makes her feel young. Aww. Uh, so yeah, this will be exciting. I might be arrested on my way to Russia for being extremely gay. Go straight on. And, and having right. just lorries and lorries and lorries full of estrogen. There's too much Schengen. Oh yes, that's right. It's it's, it's Schengen specifically where there's there's no checks whatsoever. Keep right. Although they don't well, ask for out. checks when it's I get on the lorry out. to uh when I get on the on the on the Go train to on. France either. That's right. Keep a sneaky eye out for signs that aren't speed limit signs but do change what the speed limit is. They are my nemesis, my nemesis. We were blase about it back then. Fair. Go straight on. That's right. Alright. Now. Assuming I want to slow down here. Okay, 60 kilometers per hour is 37 miles per hour. Remember that. Stay on the road. Don't go too fast. And that sign means 50. The 120 sign also means 50. Oh, 
there's a guy that's trying to get to here. Because even though he is a policeman. Oh, and here we have the end of the motorway. Who knows what that means? That means. Apparently, that still means 50. Okay. Virgin again. Probably don't need this story to do quite this level of detail. Okay, 80 also means 50. Finish flag. It's nice to have a flag that doesn't feel like it's the preserve of whack jobs and mottos. Maybe it does if you're in Finland, I don't know. Start the border check, press enter. Check my documents. Check if gonna have a nice little cup of tea and then collect your baby. <gasps> the baby is coming home. Okay, everything is in order. I've got to not clip that barrier, which. Ugh, felt a little. Okay, do we not have a way in here? The other the other borders that the, the fee zone have gone through and stuff had way in. 30. Oh god, I really should have stopped and looked a little earlier. Okay, now pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. I can't see anything. <laughs> pull out, it's fine. Check says, I've got two kids to give medication to every day. Ah, oh, does, the, does the kitten need medication for being like a little new kitten? Or, or are you also giving medication to the other one? name I suspect might be Tuna possibly. Uh, we don't seem to have a speed limit here, which is interesting. You said love and health to your tooth twin. <laughs> Aww. Yes, I, I, I'm exceptionally glad to hear that the cat is okay. Oh, there's more fences and stuff. It looks like we've got another border check. I guess we've just done the, the Finnish one to say we can leave. Now we're doing the Russian one to say we can Ah, oh, here's the way in. It's mad because he was sneezy. He had a weepy eye, so has antibiotics. Oh, bless him. Okay, this is eight. The speed limit through here is eight. What's eight miles per hour? Do you think? Keep right, and then turn right. My, my cruise control won't do a speed as low as five. <laughs> 
X-ray inspection successfully passed. They've been convinced that all of this estrogen right. is in fact uh, just pipes. Which right turn? I guess this right turn? Probably. It says brand name for your smuggle feet. Oh, D is antibiotics! Oh, I love it! Uh, right, the sign said 30, so even though it's not being enforced, I'm gonna, gonna stick at 19 in case it suddenly starts being enforced. Uh, here we have the Russian flag. Proceed to the inspection inside the building ahead, through the leftmost gate. Where's that? Building ahead? Through the leftmost gate. Do the leftmost gate, I suppose. I don't think it wants me to be over there. Oh yeah, look, this gate goes into that building. Oh god, I'm not gonna come out if I go in there. Also, I'm coming at a slightly funny wonky angle. Oh really? Inch, inch forward. Check your documents, please wait. <laughs> Thank you, Transites. Uh, uh, remember me. Everything is in order. Okay. So do I not have to go through the building? No? Okay. Proceed ahead to the X-ray hall. You've already X-rayed me once! Oh god. At least I'm catching all of this live on stream. Okay. Let's find Stop a new at the room. mark. Who knows where the mark is? Probably this blue thing here, but maybe not. Stop the engine. Oh gosh. This is spooky. Okay! We're alive, apparently. Look. Look. Keep right, and then turn right. Okay, is there anything right. coming? Let's merge into this line of trucks here. Keyboard indicator, can my camera right? Check over here, that's not. Reset the camera again. Ah, uh, who knows where I'm going from here, so who knows what lane I need to be in. Who knows what the speed limit is? The answer to all of these questions is no one. Well, there's a speed limit sign. 60, okay, that's... 37? I think so. Although, again, doesn't seem to be enforced currently. Uh... Okay, now we've got a speed limit and it's 43, which isn't the one we just saw, but okay. At least we have one. Uh, assuming we don't crash and die into the back of this lorry ahead of us. I don't know if I'm allowed to overtake here. I'm assuming the solid line means no overtaking. I don't actually even know if the other lane here is another lane for us, or if it's a lane for people coming the other way. I suspect it's like coming the other way. Uh, Transfer solid lanes may not cross it. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Good to have confirmation. Let's go up three, and then this guy's going to slow down anyway. Ah! <laughs> it's a good job no one rammed me up the back there. Oh, okay. You're just... sure. Sure. Enjoy. I'm, I'm really glad for you. At least we can get the speed now, so in front of us. Oh, absolutely everyone is going that way. No one wants to go to Viborg. <laughs> Should I be concerned? on the accelerator. Do need 
hands on the wheel, but it's going to be my right hand because my left hand is oof, a little stiff right now. As a sign, I don't know what it's supposed to mean because it has no symbols on it. <laughs> It's a nice pace, there's like an intermediary pace to go along these sort of mid-level roads at. What do I have at the speed of 43? Yeah, this is the absolutely unhinged way to begin a sentence I know. What do I have at the speed of 43 is that almost always it doesn't last. Normally the game like you're at 50 and then you get kicked down to 43 and then either you get kicked straight down to 31 almost immediately. Or you then get kicked back up to 50 after only sort of 100 yards. So any time a sign says 70 kilometers per hour or 43 miles per hour, all you know is it's going to make your life miserable. You don't know how. Keep right. Uh, sure, can I not keep right here? Apparently I can not keep right here. But traveling along, well. Rush is pretty enough as well, actually. Oh, Gordak! Oh, Gordak! Oh, Gordak! <laughs> I know I had the right to play. I know I, he would have been in the wrong if he'd pulled up just a little bit later and I hit him. But. <laughs> he's the police! Keep where? Keep which way? Keep left, I think. Yes, keep left. Actually, I'm assuming that right of way works the same way in Russia as it does in the UK. It might well not do. Maybe I don't have right of way. Maybe right of way isn't a real concept. Who knows? Very, very briefly at 56 for some reason. For, for about two seconds. <laughs> this game. I assume we do drive on the right hand side of the hill, right? Yes, because the other car was, was on the right hand side. Okay, good. <laughs> I just realised I'd never thought to check what side I was supposed to be on. Oh, 
else than that. I, 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 I have a cook breaks. Here we are, safe and sound and snug as a bug. All right, yo. Let's, uh, let's not do the reversing in. That was a particularly horrible way to reverse in. Wow. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll play it safe. No one wants to see me, having got here almost exactly at three, no one wants to see me cry, strut, panic, and throw up for the next 20 minutes trying to reverse into a spot. Alright. Like that. We've finished, we've reached Russia. I've never been to Russia in the game before. Or Finland. Or Sweden, even. Uh, and we, we delivered our Christmas cheer, and everything was wonderful. Uh, so I want to say to everyone who's been watching, thank you so much for being here, uh, and thank you so much for being around in the chat. Don't go anywhere just yet, because I am going to send you off on a wee little raid. Uh, Trans rights says, reversing sucks without a wheel. It also sucks with a wheel, but slightly less. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I, re reversing the lorries is, is definitely something that has, has so far escaped me in any meaningful sense. I can sort of do it enough to like adjust and line up to what some of those uh, ones that you're supposed to pull in forwards, but uh, not all the time, not even perhaps often. Uh, you know what, I, we are gonna carry on because I know this is where probably everyone is gonna be heading anyway so I am gonna actually go and raid into the Yogscast who will not notice that we are here but it will assist us in spreading our jingle jam cheer that we have su successfully delivered to Lapland to Father Christmas uh, and I'm gonna say tally bye to all of you I will be back uh, will I be back on Monday is the question. Let's find out what my schedule is going to be super duper quickly. Um, <laughs> uh, because I've already set the raid going. It's fine. Uh, yes, I'll be back on Monday at my usual time. I will probably be streaming a game from the Jingle Jam Clumble. Uh, I may even, hopefully, possibly, sort of, I haven't decided yet, have uh, a donate link for the Clumble. Uh, if not, I will probably just pass on someone else's donate link, like a lazy bean. Um, but do stick around for that, it'll be very exciting. Uh, the Jingle Jam is a, a super exciting time of year, it's super exciting for charity and raising money for lots of good causes, it's super exciting for you guys getting your hands on loads of good games, it's amazing. Uh, thanks everyone so much for, for joining me. Thanks to Shaka, Charles Wright, Boom Boom, Zoe, Trengali, Rewind, Kelly Turnips, all for being around in the chat. You're all lovely beans, uh, and enjoy your weekend and enjoy your jingle jam if I don't see you again. To everyone, bye.